Hi guys, Alex the Vegan Gamer, playing Bayonetta, and I don't know where we're heading next. We just met the little girl that looks a lot like I do. She has glasses, she has an accent, and she also has glasses. And I don't know what she's doing in this castle, but uh, I guess we'll figure it out. Hmm, there's another book right here. The Red Ruins. I shouldn't have said a castle, more like ruins. Oh, there she is. Where was she in the other room? Huh, I don't know. The Laguna Fate and Vigrid's Rise. How cute is she? I like her little teddy bear. Huh. <laughs> She's so cute. If I run, then does she run as well? Monsters, stay back, little girl. Where am I? Where am I? I'm going way too fast. Yeah, sorry little girl, I'm not a very good savior. I guess this is probably what I should have taken from the beginning. That's kind of weird. He moves through the floor. I can't see the lamp anywhere. Ow! Oh, that was my blade. I'm having a swim. Yeah. Bolton board with an urban planning update. It seems a highway connecting the major areas is under construction. Did you guys notice when I left an object, the hair strands that become a hand, there's a huge butterfly on it. I was probably gonna see some more right up here. Can I break this? Come on, allow me to break this. Oh! <laughs> Hello, girl. To run. Yeah. 
Yeah, I kind of deserve bronze. That was very bad. Nope, invisible wall again. I don't like invisible walls. A bulletin board with information about nearby installations. The map says there's an airport nearby. Another book. Alright. Purgatorio, center of the Trinity. Whoa, that seems like a portal. It's probably a portal to the uh, heavenly world. But I'll only get that once I defeat the boss. It's an exclamation about the porter like object. Porta del Paradiso, a gateway to heaven. The Lumens seem to have constructed it to respond with the denizens of Paradiso. I guess they just see it as a beautiful object but don't really know what it does. No! Portal's on the other side. I think what's gonna happen is I'm gonna go through this portal and... Oh, I can go here. Oh, I'm not gonna go there right now. I don't need to go and buy any objects for the moment. I'm gonna go through the portal, come back with something that will allow me to defeat that monster right over there. Once I defeat it, uh, this statue is gonna form again. So what does this say? The figure seems to be watching over the gate. Perhaps it was meant to replace the Lumen Sages? The witch statue has been cruelly disfigured. There are signs the act was carried out by unnatural means. Alright, come with me little girl. <laughs> We're going through the portal. What does this say? There's an entirely different dimension on the other side of that gate. It is a fantastic environment bringing with light. Glimpse of a temple. So we are in Paradiso. Whoa, so many monsters. Don't worry, it's always scary the first time you see them. So, where was I? Oh, yes, your kind invitation. I do hope you've prepared dessert as well. A lot of cutscenes of me kicking some butt. But I wish it was really me playing though. Oh, what a lovely tea party. And dancing too. Cereza, my dear, watch and learn. Alright. Oh. 
I guess the finishing moves depends on the monster you're fighting. Invisible wall! Yeah, this place is beautiful. Whoa, can I go back? Probably not, they locked it up, right? Yes, they locked it up. Okay. Let's go and defeat this big guy. Whoa, 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 whoa! So many faces. Ah, <laughs> he's in love with the little girl. Where's my dream dog? <laughs> His heart is broken. What's going on? Now oh, we may need to transform into a panther to do this. Probably did. There's a second by Vanilla? I just died. How did that happen?
Oh, she's like an angel. There's a halo above her head. <laughs> oh, she's such a diva. Seductress. Where did the little girl go? Joy just took something out of her vagina. got silver oh well she died quickly enough yay guys I got the whole disc beautiful fetters floating around everywhere and I'm gonna go get this book Angel's Banquet Hall. Alfim. I don't know what Alfim is, or who he is. Let's go check before going if there's something on the other side. Okay, and let's head back. Hey guys, don't forget to save the animals, kick some monsters, but... The ancient city of Vigrid is largely inaccessible, surrounded by mountains on one side and the sea to the other. While at first glance, it may seem incredibly inconvenient, it is said that Vigrid flourished primarily due to the presence of strong spirit energy within the land underfoot. The Umbran witches and Lumen sages, each with their respective control over dark and light, must have needed a land replete with the spirit energy to enable them to oversee history. The waves of time have modernized Vigrid, spurring rapid development. However, its residents still avoid outside contact, preferring to maintain their own culture and religious outlook. Their only link with the outside world is a single long-distance rail line. Simply riding this train requires an application be submitted to vigorous authorities, and a rigorous background check is required prior to the entrance of an entrance visa which must be carried at all times. Once disembarking from the train, there is further police search, after which one is granted admis admission to the city. It seems that what allows Regret the ability to be so strict regarding immigration is the seemingly close link between the Vigridians authorities and the Itaval group, a conglomerate base in Vigrid. Yet proving this link will require further investigation. Huh. Itavol group. Wonder who they are. 
the Laguna Fate and Vigris Rise. The Fate of Laguna and Development of Vigrid In recent days, Vigrid has seen the rise of the Itabal Group, a conglomerate whose rapid development has changed the face of the city. Their man-made island off the coast of Vigrid, Isla del Sol, is a clear example of their technological style. It is a modern metropolis, home to many residents, however their flight from the old city has led to the onshore historical district's rapid decline, a process that will likely end in the areas becoming ruins free of inhabitants. Those who live on Isla del Sol and those who have remained in the old city all worship the Laguna, gods who are the heart or of their fate. In many ways, like sun worship, this fate has been at the people's core since ancient times and forms the very heart of their cultural development. It is said that Itval group itself was developed in conjunction with the Laguna and its CEO is held up as the paragon of Laguna worship, the living symbol of the people's fate. He is purported to be descended from the said to be in in high annihilated lumen sages. Although I cannot confirm the veracity of this claim. Wait, let me reread that. He is purported to be descended from the said to be annihilated lumen sages. Why can I say annihilated? I know how to say that. <laughs> Although I cannot confirm the veracity of this claim. They're not annihilated, they still exist. At any rate, the devotion which people hold towards the Itaval group is without question. Figure's appearance is not the only part of the city to have changed completely. The ancient fate in the Laguna is now inexorably linked to the Itaval group as it pushes forward its modernization. Thus, the city has lost its previous visage to be replaced at alarming speed. And all with the appearance, consent of the Laguna worship Vigridians.